go. Patterson off play action. Finds Bell at the... Play action boot to Ronnie Bell here for a nice pickup. Michigan's uh, right play action to Charbonnet here, kind of on this inside zone action. So all five down linemen are slanting to their left to try to sell this uh, pass block here. The goal for them is to get all of Rutgers flowing this way to the play. So if they can get these guys to flow, again, they're leaving this guy unblocked on the edge. They're hoping that this action here, this read for this defensive end, will hold him up just enough for Patterson to get to the outside. You look at the offensive line, they're doing a good job here. Everyone's flowing this way. You got linebackers flowing this way, and this guy is sitting, so that's all good signs here. Again, watch Rutgers this time. They're all flowing here to the play side, uh, or at least what they think the play side, based on Charbonnet's action here. So at the time of the rollout here, uh, this guy does not have a whole lot of leverage. He can come up now, but Patterson's already getting into his read. This will give him enough time. Looking at routes for Michigan here, you're going to have on the bottom of the screen here, you can see his helmet. This is Tariq Black. He's just going on a go route. Roddy Bell on a flag. He's the one who will get hit on this pass. Eubanks here coming on a sort of deep cross. I think he gets a little too deep here. He kind of conflicts with Ronnie Bell's route, but it's not a big deal. And then you have DPJ coming across the formation here into the flat. So like I said, good depth by Patterson here. He has one side of the field now for his reads. Obviously, you got two guys here, so DPJ isn't a good option. You'll see on the throw that Eubanks was covered pretty closely here. Uh, this is the right call. Ronnie Bell just simply beat his guy one-on-one. -on -one. You did have one-on-one -on -one coverage here, uh, but this was clearly the best option. Good ball by Patterson. Good catch by Ronnie Bell for a first down. Actually a dominating physical group, and they haven't been. Turner, second carry. Nice pickup for Turner on inside zone here. So Michigan's blocking seven here. The five down linemen plus Eric All and Eubanks on the right side here. They're looking to block these seven here for Rutgers. This guy is coming on a blitz, but he's irrelevant to this play. This guy will eventually make the tackle. Um, we'll see how it kind of gets there, but Michigan does have the numbers matched up here for a, a big gain, and they do eventually get that. So looking at the blocking assignments for Michigan, Eric All is coming out onto number two this corner. Eubanks is here on number seven. Jalen Mayfield coming out with a big block here on the play side linebacker. Double team between Ruiz and on win you on this defensive tackle one-on-one -on, -one on Bradison on this backside tackle and then tough job here for John Runyon getting out to this backside linebacker it's it's tough for him to get there he does engage with him let's look at the backside first so Bradison allows his guy to get a little bit too far inside I would have liked his head to be on the other side here as a result this defensive lineman comes down the line a bit and we'll see John Runyon does get some movement out of this linebacker, uh, but as you can see, this defensive uh, tackle is coming inside. So not the best backside here. Really good double team on the front side here between Unwinu and um, Unwinu and Ruiz. They get good movement. And then a really nice job here um, by 73, uh, Jalen Mayfield, to, to get this guy, engage, and then edge him out. That really uh, kind of builds this hole here that, that Turner is going to hit. So it forms late, but good job by those two guys. And then the two tight ends uh, do a solid job as well. Eubanks turns his guy to the outside, and Eric Gall engages his. Eric Gall does fall off a bit late, but they both engage. You know, really good movement from Eubanks here. Eric Gall is engaged here. That helps uh, keep this hole uh, come open as you have Mayfield um, kind of building this open still. So nice little, you know, narrow lane. Uh, everyone gets their blocking assignments. You know, number eight does fall off late from... Uh, the tough block that Runyon had, uh, but it's a good job all around here for uh, about a 10-yard pickup. From the 48-yard line, Patterson to the sideline. Luko Collins breaking free, got a block, and Collins! First touchdown of the day goes to Nico Collins on a simple out route. Rutgers is only bringing four, one, two, three, and four. No stunts or anything, so really easy pickup here for Michigan's offensive line they keep five in with uh, a late release from Turner um, so as the play develops here you know you got one-on-one -on -one between <clears throat> excuse me between Runyon and defensive end one-on-one -on -one with Ruiz you got Bredesen here to help 
one on one with Nwenu, one on one with Mayfield, and then you got uh, Turner chilling here in the backfield, no one to block. So five against four, everyone's holding up really well at the time of the throw. Looking at the actual routes, Nico Collins does kind of this outside release flat route. You could call it an out route. I think it's more of a flat route. Eric All is coming out of this H back position into a flag. DPJ is coming across on a, uh, actually it's a little bit uh, shallower than that, kind of a shallow cross route here across the middle. And then you have Eubanks. I don't know what Eubanks is doing here. It could be a little sit route here. It might be a little sit and out route, um, but he's somewhere here at the time that uh, that the camera goes away. So he's, he's looking over here probably at the safety, also at this corner. He realizes there's no outside help. That's an easy read with one-on-one -on -one coverage. 22 takes a really, really bad angle here. I don't know why it doesn't continue along this line. So he cuts up field a little bit. That gives enough outside leverage for Collins to get away from the shoestring tackle. Good block by Eric All here. It was initially called a flag, but he doesn't actually block there. Watch his hands. If his hands actually engage here, they could call a blindside block that they initially did, and they could have upheld it, but he approaches this without actually blocking. He has every right to be running in this direction. It's not an actual block. He just gets in the way of this guy. Notice his hands. So really, really good job of not actually blocking and just disrupting the defender. That springs Collins the rest of the way for a touchdown. Purdue, same thing. Play action, Patterson all day to throw to the sideline. Play action pass to Ronnie Bell for a big pickup here. Um, the pass rush here for Rutgers, they're going to send for a little bit interesting. They're going to drop this defensive end sort of guy uh, back into zone here. The other defensive linemen are going to slant to their right, and this is all to isolate number 15, the edge rusher on Eubanks, which they do accomplish. Let's see how Eubanks does here. So on the play side, you know, you have the play action for Charbonnet, and then you also have, you know, you have one, two, three, four, five offensive linemen here for Michigan on only one, two, three defensive linemen. So uh, Rutgers is accepting this this mismatch here to isolate this mismatch. So play action. It looks really open. Number 15 gets around the edge, so Eubanks does get beat. Patterson does a really good job sinking up into the pocket to buy himself just another second or two of comfortability. At the time of the throw, you know, obviously he's, he, he's about to receive some pressure, but plenty of of time for an uninterrupted throw. So the route combo here uh, makes this a an immediate win for Michigan. So you have Ronnie Bell here on the flag route. You're going to have DPJ on kind of this skinny post route. And Tariq Black is running to the outside here. It makes a couple double moves before going on his streak. So we'll watch those routes here real quick. We'll kind of jump forward. So at this point, count the Rutgers defenders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? And you have three deep routes. Tariq Black's job here is just to clear out this corner. And on his skinny post is going to take the high safety here. That leaves zero defenders remaining for Ronnie Bell's uh, flag route. That's exactly what happens. Safety follows DPJ. Corner takes Tariq Black, and you have a wide open zone here. With a better throw here, that doesn't force Ronnie Bell to jump. Great vertical, by the way. But with a better throw, he has nothing downfield except for Tariq Black's defender uh, to get past. So you'd like to see a little bit better there, but still a great catch. Big pickup. 13 to go for the first. Four-man pressure. Patterson, one-on-one -on -one coverage to keep his jump. Nice fader out here to DPJ. First of all, sorry about this. Uh, cursor that'll just be in the middle of the screen annoying you it, it annoys me as well so Rutgers only brings four on pressure they're actually bringing this outside linebacker here uh, late he's coming up here they're going to drop this fellow back into zone coverage and then they're bringing number two three and four here on the pass rush so four on pass rush Michigan has five plus Haskins in the backfield so they have outnumbered plus it's a quick throw um, let's see how Michigan does here. Again, it, it's a good job by Michigan to understand that this guy's coming off the edge. So you have uh, Runyon here ready to pick pick this blitzer up. One-on-one -on -one here with Bredesen. You have three guys here to deal with two defensive linemen for Rutgers. And then you have a, a free man here with Haskins. Given it's a quick throw, he, there's no pressure getting on Patterson. <clears throat> 
looking at the routes here, you're going to have Tariq Black on a uh, kind of shallow cross here. Eubanks, I think, does a uh, in route. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have to double to take another look at that. And then you have Ronnie Bell here on an out route. And then the, the fade by DPJ at the top of your screen here. Yeah, so you did have Eubanks here on an in route. So Ronnie Bell was actually open here, uh, but again, it's third and 13. This route was a little bit before the sticks. He probably could have turned it upfield, uh, but it's a really nicely thrown ball here to Patterson. Uh, plenty of room on the sideline, catchable ball. It's actually a good job by 22 here to come in and rake at the ball. He actually gets a little bit of movement on it, but uh, when it's that well thrown, uh, good catch by DPJ, good route, uh, really hard to defend. So just a nice play all around, good ball. Eric all motioning into the backfield. Play action. Patterson can walk this one in. Touchdown. A little down G play action look here for Michigan. So down G, uh, you're going to have Eubanks kind of on the backside. Sell like he's coming in for a block before heading out to the flat on a pass route. Runyon and Bredesen uh, blocking to their right. Similar with Ruiz here. He uh, Ruiz doesn't really pick anyone up, but he's still giving this action. Uenio is the front side guard here, so he's going to pull and pick up this defensive end who is kind of shuffling here. Uh, you're going to have a down block here on the right side from Mayfield. And then Schoonmacher, generally on the down G, would pick up probably this defensive end, but he sells like he's coming out for this linebacker before stopping for a bit and then coming across on his route. Then Ronnie Bell on the outside coming on his route as well. And then you have lead blocker here off of the motion, Eric All, and Haskins is given the ball here. So that's kind of the motion, the, the run play here that, that we're faking. You can see here comes uh, the pull. Here's Schoonmacher selling this block. Uh, it, it's like you have Eubanks on the backside on his block before these routes kind of form. And here's the fake. Good job by Patterson. So you can kind of see what they're going for. If you look at the... Uh, backside here, the two kind of guys who make this play possible. Number nine is coming in. He, his eyes are fully on this running back and this fullback motion here. And then 25 here, he is most likely the, the guy responsible for any route out of Eubanks. He sees him crossing his face. He's not going to expect him to go out for a route, especially with everything happening in the backfield. And boom, it's game over. You got Eubanks wide open. Number nine is lost contain. Uh, you got just wide open field here for Patterson, and if he really wants to throw it, he could. Three options here on the pass. Ronnie Bell's relatively covered. Schumacher's getting held a little bit. Uh, Eubanks is the guy, but again, on the edge. These are your culprits here that open up this play. Patterson makes the right decision and runs it in on an easy play. Uh, they must have seen the opening on how hard the backside edge was uh, crashing in, and it was a good adjustment, good play call. Best field position of the day to start a drive for either team as Patterson rolls out. And Michigan going back to this play action boot here, so uh, all the linemen here are, are blocking down to the right, kind of selling this fake to Charbonnet here uh, to the right, and that's all to get the defensive line shifting kind of this you know to their left the defensive lines left to open up this path for patterson so the, the main guy in conflict here is this backside defensive end this fake is all about getting him to shuffle getting him to wait and that'll open up patterson on the outside so watching this defensive end here you see he's crashing on the line he's doing a good job with his responsibility but oop, he doesn't have the ball. His eyes are on the key. He's only now realizing, oh, there's a guy coming across my face, and there's going to be a quarterback rolling out here. By then, it's too late, and routes are already forming. So looking at the routes here, at the bottom of the screen, you can't see him uh, just yet. Actually, he's, he's oh, no, this is him. This is Nico Collins. He's just on a fly, a clear out route. Treat Black is on a deep flag route. Uh, you got Eubanks here kind of on a, a middle cross here or a, um, yeah, just a crossing route. And then you have, uh, or maybe, no, that's Eric All. Eric All on a deep cross. And then you got Eubanks coming across the formation here into the flat. So same sort of route tree we saw on an earlier play I covered that I think went to Ronnie Bell. This time it, it opens up, you know, nice, nice timing here for Patterson to get his shoulders turned. Makes a nice accurate throw. 
You could argue you have Eric Gall here. There was this defender you'd have to throw over in that case. Uh, but really, uh, Tariq Black has plenty of separation, so it was a, a really well-timed throw, uh, well-timed play, and a perfectly placed ball for a big pickup. Patterson play action on the roll. Patterson has an opening. Another play action boot here that fakes the cameraman out. So the offensive line, again, they're all flowing here to the left. Um, and that is all to kind of support this handoff here for Charbonnet. It's all about getting the defense flowing uh, to this left action as the wide receivers release the other way. So obviously everyone picks up their blocks. Nothing really of note here. It's all about buying time for Patterson out here. So main guy I want you to watch is number 22 on this action here. So his, his first instinct is just to go straight out here to cut off Ronnie Bell. Rutgers is playing his own, and they actually cover this really well. So you have Eubanks coming in on a fake block here. He's going to kind of be... Uh, he's going to be this late option here, I'll say. So I'll just point this out here. Um, Eric All's coming here. He's going to be your medium option here in the middle of the end zone. Ronnie Bell coming across the formation. That's your uh, shallow option. And then you got Schumacher coming across, and he's your back option. So you got four routes here, three on the deep, middle, and short areas, and then a trailer with uh, Eubanks really selling this uh, block early. So, again, watch number 22 here. He, he followed Ronnie Bell, and uh, number nine, they're in his zone. Number nine already has Ronnie Bell. Ronnie Bell uh, constitute number nine to get out here. He couldn't follow him because 22 was a late trailer, right? He was running across the formation. But 22 should be challenging Patterson. Everyone here is covered. Everyone here, you know, is accounted for. So that's that's the main mistake that opens up this play. Another thing that... that uh, Eubanks really opens up this play. He cuts deep into the end zone. He realizes here that he needs to separate himself as Patterson is coming up. So he gives room. He forces this guy to make, decision, make a decision. Does he come up on Patterson coming towards the line of scrimmage or cover Eubanks? He decides to cover Eubanks. That opens up this space here for Patterson. Misplay by 22 plus this uh, heads up play by Eubanks gives enough space for Patterson to run it for a touchdown. Hurry up here. Nobody blocked me. Better make the tackle. On third down, it's Turner again. Turner lowering the shoulder pads. Driving his nice powerful run by Turner here on inside zone. Uh, let's look at kind of this front side here. So Collins is trying to get the eyes of this safety to follow him out here before getting to this block. He doesn't really get there, but, um, you know, it's kind of a third level block. Uh, 73 Mayfield here, one-on-one -on, -one on this defensive tackle. Eubanks on this defensive end here. So looking at how they do, um, you know, I think number seven gets a little too far inside for what I would like to see out of Eubanks. Um, and Mayfield, again, is getting kind of pushed in a little bit, but they do end up kind of setting this edge here. Collins wasn't able to sell this uh, defensive back, so he kind of lost inside leverage here. Uh, but eventually, they, they do form their blocks here, and that's kind of the right side of this hole. I think it's more of a misplay by this linebacker to not be here. Uh, that opens this up for Turner, though. And then kind of on the back side, you have a double team between Ruiz and Awainu here, as well as a double team uh, between Runyon and Bredesen. So they both get decent movement there. And they're both actually going to fall off. you got Unwenu and Bredesen who will double-team this linebacker. And then you have Ronnie Bell and DPJ double-teaming this uh, corner, I believe, here. So that opens up this left side here. Uh, this defensive tackle turns his back. Not great by him. Uh, this double-team is doing well between Unwenu and Bredesen. And the wide receivers are setting a block here as well. Again, this is the main culprit of what opens up this lane is the misplay by this linebacker. But still, at the end of this play, you know, really good, powerful run by Turner. He waits just a beat here for the hole to form before powering through. And then, uh, you know, he carries a couple of guys into the end zone. So nice, powerful run by Turner. Uh, but decent blocking overall. Second down and 10. Play action. Patterson to Peoples-Jones at the 15-yard line. Breaks a tackle at the 20-yard line. And another play action boot here for Michigan. So they're faking to True Wilson here. Uh, you got six blockers here on uh, the offensive line, plus Eubanks blocking here, kind of shading to the left, trying to sell this outside zone action. 
Again, the whole goal is to get everyone on Rutgers flowing this way uh, to give enough time for Patterson on the outside to deliver a pass to one of your three routes on the play. So it's a bit different flavor here. We're actually picking up this conflict player. And this is an outside linebacker or safety who actually is coming up quickly uh, to challenge Patterson on this. So it's probably an adjustment they, they made after the, the first couple plays in the first half of how to address this. So, you know, the play correctly brings the defensive line and, and these two linebackers towards this way. So there's nothing really challenging Patterson outside of this linebacker who will be screaming up. Uh, but it's a quick pass, and it's a good job by Patterson to get the ball out quickly in this scenario. Routes, you have a deep cross from uh, Tariq Black. This is more of a long developing route, not really an option given this linebacker's uh, motion here. And then you're going to have Ronnie Bell on a flag route, and on the inside here, Tariq Black on an out route. So... This defensive back follows Ronnie Bell. That, that can tell you it's going to vacate this. That's a really tough ask for this defensive back to jump onto this out route with this sort of route combo that's going on in this area. Again, he's, con he's conflicted with having to compete with this action here. And at this time, you already have Patterson looking at DPJ, delivers a nice ball. It gives DPJ plenty of time to analyze where he's at. He makes a nice move here to make defensive back miss in space and takes this from an 8-yard gain into a 17-yard gain. So really good job. Play from the 25-yard line. Lots of time. Patterson, open, Eubanks, first down and more. And Same play, the play action that we saw Ronnie Bell catch earlier on the uh, high pass. Rutgers is only going to bring three. They're going to bring uh, one, two, and three on the pass rush. They will bring this guy up who is actually one-on-one -on -one with true wilson here on his fake um so patterson will get a little bit of pressure late but nothing too crazy so you got double team here uh between eric all uh and the right tackle mayfield you got double team here bredesen is one-on-one -on -one, and then uh mayfield initially thinks that this guy's coming up but then he is in one-on-one uh, -on -one coverage with Wilson. You see here that this lineman does a nice little late spin move. I would like to see Runyon over here a little bit more to support it, um, given that this guy's coming up super late and it's not likely he's going to come on the pass rush. Um, so this guy does actually get a little bit of pressure on Patterson, but at the time of the throw, it's not a big deal. I'm um, looking at the routes. You have a really deep cross uh, from Eubanks. This is what we'll actually get passed to. On the outside, you're going to have Tariq Black releasing outside, trying to clear this area on a go route, and then you're going to have a post route out of uh, Nico Collins to clear this safety out uh, here. So like the last time we saw this, um, you know, this this guy's following here. This is going to occupy the safety. Eubanks is coming free here in, in an area that is going to be vacated by Tariq Black, who's taking that defensive back out of that area. Nicely thrown ball on target gives Eubanks a chance to get 10 extra yards after the catch. Good play. From the 40-yard line on first down. Patterson to the edge and Peoples-Jones with blockers. Donovan Pe Easy screen pass here to DPJ for a big gain. Uh, offensive line's er, responsibility here is just to get the defense to come this way with the uh, quick fake to True Wilson here. Uh, so again, this whole action on the offensive line, this little short play action is just to get mainly these linebackers this way, right? Defensive line isn't a factor in this play. There's no way they're going to get out there unless you're maybe Chase Winovich. Um, but he's killing it in New England. So it's all about these two linebackers, right? Get these guys occupied so that you have plenty of space during the throw uh, for Diamond Peoples-Jones to get to the outside and not have to worry about anything on this side of the field. It's all about eliminate, eliminating those guys and getting the numbers in your favor. So it's a well-delivered ball right in front of DPJ. He doesn't have to turn. He's ready to just cut up field. I uh, want you to first look at this safety. So he is he should be filling this gap, right, because you have help from the linebackers coming this way. The flow should be this. You should always uh, force this play back inside. He takes the inside route. He's going here. 
already this is given too much time for DPJ. He has the ball. He's going to beat this guy to the outside. Can't let an athlete uh, get that sort of angle here with 25. So while this guy will eventually make the tackle, if he's filling this gap and forcing DPJ inside, uh, that's into the teeth of defense. So definitely a misplay by 25. But also look at the blocking. Uh, Tariq Black does a really good job staying engaged with this defender, and uh, Nico Collins stays engaged with this defensive back the entire time. So that, you know, misplay by him, but it also gives the outside leverage to DPJ because of the blocks from the other wideouts. So really well blocked play, misplay by 25, but it's a nice pickup and nice execution overall. Three. Patterson breaking tackles Ronnie Bell. Bell driving inside the five. Bell still fighting. Little hitch right here to Ronnie Bell. Excellent fight from him. You're going to have Rutgers bringing four on the pass rush. These three linemen are kind of looping this way to bring this outside linebacker here to try to force this one on one matchup, which they will get. And then number nine here looks like he's initially rushing, but he is on Haskins in pass coverage here. So Michigan does a nice job. They allocate they allocate one, two, three, four, five guys here. These three on one, and then one on one with uh, Ruiz, one on one with and when you here. So these guys are are uh, accounted for. And then you have one on one between uh, Ryan Hayes and number eight here, the Blitzer. So they get them accounted for. It's a quick pass, so uh, no issues in protection. Looking at routes, you have you have Haskins coming out of the backfield, going into the flat here. Um, Nico Collins, kind of an outside release um, fly route. Tariq Black, you kind of have this uh, rounded out and up along the sideline. And then Ronnie Bell kind of floats to the outside a little bit and then uh, a little bit of a hitch or maybe a sit route. Uh, and this is ultimately what gets thrown to. So it's a really quick throw. Um, you know, pressure is fine at this point. Good job by Hayes here to, to pick up this guy, but protection is all there. It's a good throw. Really good decision by Ronnie Bell to cut up this way. And then I really want you to watch his footwork on this next move. So he makes this guy move. Or I'm sorry, he makes this guy miss. Watch his footwork. So jittery, so quick. He, he, he freezes number 15, and then the rest is just willpower. He just drives through number 2, 25. Almost gets down to the goal line for a touchdown, but great play regardless. Joe Milton in at quarterback now. Hassan Haskins gets the carry. Big hole. Zone read with Milton and Haskins here. Let's look at Michigan's blocking assignments. So uh, on the left side here, you have John Runyon, who is tasked with getting to the second level. Right, He's getting there. This is the read guy. This is your conflict player for Milton. If he, if he comes down the line, he's going to keep around the outside. If he stays, he'll give to Haskins up the middle. And then you have one-on-one -on -one blocks here. You're going to have a double team between... Ruiz and Owenu before Ruiz gets to the second level to this linebacker, one-on-one -on, -one on the right side. So those are the blocking assignments. Let's focus first on this side. You can see this linebacker coming up. So what that means is that both Runyon and Milton are going to be making a read on this action here. So let's see what happens. So you see right here, Runyon recognizes that his key is coming outside on a scrape exchange, right? As well as this guy. Uh, so this defender is keen off of Milton. And this guy's whole purpose is to crash down the line to get Haskins on the handoff that um, that Milton will be reading to. So Runyon uh, recognizes this and chips 26 just enough for Haskins to get through the hole here. So that's a really nice job. And then on the right side, um, the defensive line for Rutgers really just came down the line this way. That really enables Bredesen to get good movement here. And it doesn't force a double team out of Ruiz. He's able to release freely to the second level. One-on-one -on -one blocks here between Onwenu and, uh, and Hayes on the right side, or Mayfield on the right side. And then from there, it, it's all about uh, Haskins hitting the hole here. So this this is really what makes this play. Running and recognizing the scrape exchange, uh, a good read there. I would like to see Johnson do a little bit better taking this block. Haskins could probably have made it if he went this way regardless, but uh, you know, still a big gain down to the one-yard line. Behind the quarterback to push it. There he is. Play action, bootleg, touchdown. Quarterback keeper here on the play action. Uh, it's a down G running action that Michigan shows. So the entire left side, backside here is just kind of cut blocking 
uh, just to not allow anything backside here, right? That's the entire uh, goal here. Uh, so the backside, they all slant. Uh, this guy kind of gets through, but nothing much you can do if your bread is in. So they properly, you know, it's it's a mess, but <laughs> nothing gets through here where uh, this is the desired path for Haskins. The front side, giving us down G, uh, you have uh, a when you pulling here, and then front side tackle is blocking down to kind of mitigate or to uh, fill this hole left by the pulling guard, as well as Ruiz going this way. Um, the goal for Unwenyu is to pick up this defender out here, and then you're going to have Schoenmacher getting to the second level here. And the goal is to have Eric All first through the hole, and then you have Haskins right behind him. So that's the play design. Um, it looks like it was actually there, right? You got Eric All squeezing through this hole to pick up any, any, you know, whether it's this guy or this safety coming down, and then Haskins follow right behind. Looks like it's pretty well blocked. It probably could have been a touchdown if it was a give. Um, but then the, the two guys that I think Michigan must have been reading on the previous plays, because obviously it's fourth and goal, they must have been reading number nine and number four's reaction to the previous runs. They are not obeying uh, their contain at all here. So uh, just a naked bootleg. I'm pretty sure they probably told uh, Milton the to play, which is a down G, and just said, just keep it. So number nine and number four are just screaming down the line. Um, that's an easy touchdown for Milton off the edge. And nice blocking, well, not really even needing a block, but also fools the cornerback here on the edge. So uh, good job, good play, um, and that's 45-0. Uh, Iowa, Michigan played that Middle Tennessee team in the first game of the year here on BTN. It was 40-21 Michigan as Luke Schoonmaker goes up the sideline. Play action boot ray. I feel like it's the third time I've covered this play. Um, so the entire action here for Michigan's offense is uh, coming across here on the left like it's going to be a uh, zone run here uh, for uh, Ben Van Sumeren. So it's all, again, trying to get the defense to flow this way in order to open up this wag or this boot action uh, from, from Milton here with all of the routes uh, coming to this side of the field. So Rutgers plays along here as they have all game. They're all crashing this way. Uh, main culprit here that opens up this play is this guy crashes really really hard and he doesn't notice that uh schoonmacher crosses his face until it's too fast schoonmakers schoonmacher schoonmaker whatever uh he's pretty fast for a tight end so that's going to allow this route to really uh come open here see it came down too fast only now did he start and now you're in a foot race and schoonmaker has a uh, full head of steam here to win that race so routes, uh, as they have been, you got Johnson on a go route here, um, St. Ristol on a kind of deep out route, Schumacher, as I said, comes across formation into the flats here, and then you have Mustafa Mohamed on kind of a deep cross here. So you got three levels on this side, plus the clear out here, uh, if anything goes disastrously wrong on the defense. So he actually probably had three options here. He had St. Ristol for a deeper option. Uh, number four is only now reacting to this play. He does have Schoonmaker here, and, and he hits him, and it turns out to be a big play. But he probably had Muhammad here as well. So he had his choice. I think St. Ristol probably would have been the uh, best choice here. But uh, notice on the catch here, St. Ristol does a really good job of identifying number four, and that springs Schoonmaker for another 10 yards here. So really good job by... Uh, by seeing Ristol understanding that he actually could have engaged a little bit better since he does actually make the tackle, but he still opened up this play a bit for him. Second and five. Milton looking for the end zone. Oh. First touchdown pass for Milton. First touchdown catch for Giles Jackson. So Rutgers is sending three on the pass rush, these three defensive linemen. And then this linebacker comes up late, uh, hits Van Sumer out of the backfield, and then comes uh, in towards kind of like an eight-gap blitz. Michigan handles it pretty well. Uh, let's focus first on Vistardis mainly. Um, I think he does a really good job here. He's engaged with this uh, nose tackle here, kind of one-on-one. -on -one. And then I don't know if it was, oops, I don't know if it was on purpose, but he starts to shift over and close this A gap. I think uh, 72 here as well. I think that's uh, Andrew Stuber. Uh, helps push this guy inside, and that closes this gap for this linebacker blitz. Everyone else does a good job with protection. Plenty of time for Milton to get the ball out here. Looking at routes, 
Uh, I'm not sure who this tight end is, um, but he runs an, an in route here. Um, you're going to have a, a crossing route here from St. Ristol. Um, you have a sit route here from Cornelius Johnson on the outside. And then Giles Jackson, uh, Coach Harbaugh said this, this was the incorrect route on this play. Uh, I think he read this safety and turned this into a flag route. I think initially it was supposed to be a deep post route um, to put kind of this safety in conflict, right? Like whether he should take this or take the deep route. That's my uh, my understanding of it, but um, he also said that he's he's not one to, um, you know, if you make a mistake and it's a touchdown, then he's not one to uh, complain. So, and then you have uh, Ben Van Sumer in out of the backfield kind of going to this flat area. So, Milton identifies one-on-one -on -one coverage, throws a nice ball, um, you know, good job by Jackson getting open. It's a touchdown for, uh, for Milton, touchdown for Jackson, first of their careers.